hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is lara savage if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i post amazing videos like this in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make this drawstring bag it's going to be reversible so you can use either side of it and yeah let's just get into it So guys for this project i used a fabric of 20 inches by 8 inches now you're going to cut out your main fabric and your inner fabric so you know you need two pieces so for the front and the back that's what you're going to cut out and then you're going to place your fabric and fold it right sides facing each other so just like i'm doing right here you're going to fold it right sides facing along the 20 inch side and what we're now going to do is we're now going to mark one inch from the open edge and then 0.6 inch after that one inch so i'm going to take my ruler now and i'm going to rule a line at one inch then after that line i'm going to rule a line at 0.6 inch so this is the line right here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew it from the top to the one inch line then skip to after that 0.6 inch then continue down to the end so for the other piece the black in my case you're doing it from the top to the end but on one of the sides you're going to leave about you know two inches opening that you're going to turn your fabric inside out so that you can have clean finishes so do you guys get you're sewing it from the top to the end but you're going to leave an opening right there so right here i've already sewn this black one and then this is what it looks like now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our fabric in an angle just like what i'm doing right here you're going to fold it just like this and you're going to mark one inch and you're going to sew it down right there so you're going to do it for the other side and on your main fabric as well you're going to do it the same way so the same method that's what you're using for everything you're going to do it so that it can look like you know a bag basically and guys can you see it i've done it on both pieces and this is what it looks like so now you're going to turn your fabric inside out one of the fabrics and i'm going to put it into the right side of the other fabric so you have the right sides facing basically and you're going to sew all around the top so all around the top pin it down and then sew it and guys this is what i have right here this is what it looks like i have sewn it and then i'm going to turn it using that two inch gap that i told you guys to leave i'm going to use it to turn it inside out so can you guys see what i'm doing just turn your fabric inside out and then you're going to have this clean piece of fabric i've got an itch i can't scratch i'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me and open wounds start to see everybody come here gather round welcome to the freak show the best in town <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me i don't get along with anybody honestly i've been living in my own head so what you're going to do now is you're going to put it inside one another so the inner piece you're going to put it in and then align the top correctly so just align it really really well so that it doesn't have any bumps and then you're going to sew along that line that we made the first line that we made you know it's going to have reduced by half an inch because of the sewing that we did at the top so you're going to sew it using half an inch again all around so from the top to half an inch you're going to sew it all around and then once you sew it all around right there you're going to sew after that 0.6 inch so that we can have that space for our drawstring so you are sewing two lines first one at the 0.5 second one after the 0.6 inch and guys i have sewn it right here this is what it looks like can you see my lines 
so i'm going to take this string like um fabric so you can use your bias tape to make a drawstring so just anything guys you can use your fabric to make anything so you can use it to create that drawstring you want to use and then i'm going to just use my pin to just push it right into it so i'm pushing it from one corner to the other corner and then that's it guys just push your drawstring out and your bag is ready this is our drawstring bag looking all nice i'm going to put some things inside right now i'm putting my scrunchies i have the video already on my channel of these scrunchies you guys can go check it out i did two methods of making a scrunchie and i did it in three different sizes and i also have these tumble cuffs but they are not yet on the channel i'm going to post it very soon so you guys should subscribe so that you can see the amazing things i'm going to post in the future and the ones that i've posted already you guys should go watch it and that's it guys this is my drawstring bag looking all nice i'm just going to tie the ends right here and cut the excess and that's it guys my bag is ready if you try this out please 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 tag me on instagram at lara savage creations i will be ready to showcase your work to all my growing followers and don't forget to subscribe please guys subscribe to the channel like this video share within and outside your circle comment in the comment section you know how much you love it um encouraging words if you have questions i'm ready to answer and until my next video do have yourself a wonderful morning noon or night wherever you are it's still your favorite content creator and fashion entrepreneur lara savage signing out